night. It's finally quiet in here. Um, we are checking out. <laughs> we're done. We had a good night's sleep. We had a good breakfast. All my family were able to eat the continental breakfast all together over in the little breakfast room as proof of the Nutella here. Um, but we are ready to check out and start driving. We are going to Logan, Utah, which is where I grew up, where my parent, my dad still lives, and where the second reception is happening tonight. So we are packing up. It's about a two, two and a half hour drive. Um, so not too bad. And we are headed out. And we've got some extra flowers. We're gonna put on my mom's grave. Any extra flowers we have by the end of tonight are gonna go to my mom and Jason's mom's grave. They are in the same cemetery. So let's hit the road again. Okay, we haven't gotten on the road yet. We've got a toothbrush and we went and got McDonald's, but Chelsea needs to hand over my hash brown. Hand over the hash brown. <laughs> she thinks she gets them. And they got lucky. Chelsea Marie! You do it to me time. That's called mom tax. There's no thing there's nothing called child tax. Yeah, there is. There no, there's not. Tax. Anyway. I had a deal on my phone that it was, they wanted to get, or I wanted them to get smoothies, but I actually wanted a milkshake, and I had a deal on my app that if I bought one milkshake, I got one for 29 cents. So, they are lucky and they got milkshakes for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we already had breakfast. But we are finally on the road. I always like going over this little, attractions here. well, there's not much to see. There's the gorge, right there. It's really pretty. That guy's so. gonna jump. Oh, really? Where? Yeah, he had a parachute. Oh. My Andy's husband, Josh, jumped off this like a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh, there goes some. She's jumping. Oh. Yeah, he jumped off um, a couple weeks ago, and Andy watched. It was pretty cool. But Wait, we jumped are, off that? Yeah, Josh jumped off that. Bungee jump? Yeah, he was like tandemed to oh, someone. Okay. But it was not bungee, they flew off. No, parachute, parachute off. off yeah. Because you're not jumping in the water. No, no, no. Okay. No, but it wasn't bungee either. Yeah. So, pretty cool. But we're going to hop on the road and you're going to quickly see there's nothing to see. So. Well, you can turn the camera around. <laughs> no, I'm see just. See that there's nothing to see. No, I'm going to film, but like they're going to see that there's not much to see on this part of Idaho. It's pretty barren and pretty desolate. <laughs> so, let's head to Logan. This two and a half hour stretch was longer than the nine hours we did, it did two seem days long. ago. It did seem long. Doesn't it? That stretch of Idaho is just hard. There's nothing. It's just a hard stretch. When we come back next month, uh, we're actually dry. I know. <laughs> why are we coming back? Why don't we make it August or something? Or We've already booked it. <sighs> I know, it's hard. I shouldn't mention it when we're just on the eve of getting all this driving done. But um, when we come back next time, we're driving up into Idaho and then down into um, well, Mom, Bear Lake. So we're coming, the last little stretch of it will be different. And so it'll make it a lot better. Mom, <laughs> <drive>. <laughs> Why don't I drive? You what? drive. Do you rest when I drive? I can't sleep in a car. Yeah. He, and he has trust issues. Trust issues? <laughs> yeah. No. You're a good driver. He did let Kaylee drive when they came here last year. But he did. Year. Yeah, she did. She drove. And But you don't rest. You don't. I, I mean, that wouldn't have been really safe for you to, to actually rest with Kaylee driving for the first yeah. time. She did a really good job last she year. Did. She drove for. But I do have to hours. say, and, and Abby doesn't want me to film her. But hey, Abby, really quite, quite. Abby, do you want to go practice driving sometime while we're here? Yeah. You don't know? She turns 15 in two months, just about a month and a half. Oh and she can actually start to practice how to, to how, she can start to practice driving. And then in about six months, we'll get her permit and start taking the classes. So that when she's done with the classes, she'll be right in line to get her driver's license. She'll be legal. To turn, when she turns 16. Yeah, we'll do it more legal this time. We're still doing it. She technically still can't drive right now. 
No, I know. Without a permit. With Kaylee, we just did it without well, any permit, without any. Yeah, because <laughs> it was the pandemic and there was literally no one on the road. It was so easy for Kaylee to learn how to drive. That's why I want to do it here where we've got some smaller roads and you're kind of more hidden from. Well, big parking lot's the best first place to start. We right. didn't even get out of the parking lot for like a good couple months. Months, yeah. So, um, we have a few errands to run um, once we get here. Ugh, maybe we'll find where the kids are and you guys can go play. Sure. And then uh, we have to go to Walmart. <laughs> Me and my sister and Abby all need a new bra. And it's, we just need to find a Walmart that actually has one. <laughs> it's a struggle. But I also need to get some dinner food um, to bring to my Father's Day dinner tomorrow night with my dad. We're all coming together um, and surprising him with, with a new grill. And he doesn't know about it, so we're doing barbecue chicken. Speaking of cop. <laughs> Uh, we're doing a barbecue chicken tomorrow night and he doesn't know what we're having for dinner because he knows that his grill is broken and so he's like well we'll just figure something out you guys bring the sides I'll just show up and what he doesn't know is that the grill will show up and we're gonna use it right away to cook the chicken so that'll be kind of fun to surprise him with um, I didn't know they were they didn't decide to do it until yesterday <laughs> so I had already gotten him a gift um, if we don't buy him new socks from our store and replace his slippers every year, he wouldn't do it. And so that's what we get him. Well, socks don't always wear out. No, they don't. That's why he he has really good socks. He just wouldn't buy really good socks like we give him. You know, he would just buy like cotton ones from Walmart or whatever. But we give him good socks that last a long time. So, and Snickers. I always get him some Snickers. Okay, we're gonna go and unpack for a little bit and then we'll go around to some errands. All right, <laughs> I'm not at my sister's wedding. I have to interject really quick here because the chaos of this day kind of overtook our day and I did not be, get to chance, and I did not get a chance to pick up my camera to explain what was going on or even show what was going on because it was absolute chaos. And I don't want to take away too much from my sister's reception and I obviously can't show them very much. I think we set up the tables at her reception. You'll see here in a second. Um, but I think we set those tables up three times. There were wind gusts that kept coming through that day. They were so strong. They were so strong. And then there was also dirty rain. And you'll see about dirty rain in, <laughs> in our travel day home. But it was absolute chaos so every time we got this, the tables fully set up there were like bar height ones and then the regular ones to sit at every time we got them fully set up the wind gusts would come and just knock over the bar height ta tables and so then we'd have to take all of them down put all the flowers down on the ground underneath the tables take off then <laughs> it was crazy so that was the first time we just took the flowers off and put them down just so that if the tables fell over then they wouldn't ruin the flowers so then as we were setting up the reception after the first windstorm <laughs> kind of gust through we had everything kind of back on the tables um the, the tall tables were all fully stood up um another windstorm came back through and it was to the point where not only were the bar height tables knocked over but then the tables that, that we normally sat at the whole tablecloth would just like fly up in the air not just like you know kind of whipping in the wind down below they were like full-on vertical it was insane and so me and the host that my sister rented this reception center for um we had to take all of the tables apart we had to take all the tablecloths off put all of the flowers underneath the tables and luckily we did the tablecloths and put them kind of draped down over a chair and kind of tucked them down underneath the table because that's when the dirty rain started again. And that didn't prevent that from happening later on, but we set up three different times. We came back about an hour before the reception hoping everything was fully set up. Nope, it had rained and it was dirty rain. So now all the white tablecloths were not white anymore. <laughs> it was so crazy. But right when we needed to start the reception, we set up in the rain, we got it all done. My sister arrived after getting her hair and her face done and the winds chilled. It was just like her wedding day the day before. The winds died down. The sun didn't come out by any means. 
but it all of the weather stopped and that was absolutely fantastic so now I will let you enjoy just the setup of the reception there's a couple clips of me and my sisters I'll throw in a couple little clips of my sister in her wedding dress with her husband and just show you the reception center and that's all I got that's all the footage I got and I feel so bad that I wasn't able to end her day but it ended at the end of the day a little boy fell into the fire pit and luckily my sister is a nurse and my dad is a doctor so we were able to tend to him and send him and his mom off to the ER and so I just we were so exhausted by the end of that evening I didn't pick up the camera again so I just wanted to explain all of that and just give you a montage of the reception that's all I got but it was gorgeous it was beautiful it was fun to see my family I had aunts and uncles come in from out of town it was so fun to see them that's all I got but this is what I have permission to show you so here you go